Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how to migrate keys from one key store type to another. I will try to migrate a JKS key store to JCE KS key store and then JCE KS key store to PKCS 12 key store and then PKCS 12 key store to Bouncy Castle key store and then finally Bouncy Castle key store to Cloud HSM. In this video, I will be using two new Java security providers. So let's get started. I am now logged into my uh, Linux virtual machine from the previous video. For this session, I have already created a directory with some key stores in it. Luna.ks is the uh, key store that I will be using with our Cloud HSM. Uh, this is a JCE KS key store. This is a JKS key store. This is a simple text file that contains the password for both JCE KS and JKS key store. Now, if you remember in the previous video, when I used to execute key tool command, it used to always ask for the password. Instead of doing that, I can simply write the password or store the password into a text file and pass that file on to the key store command. So let me show you how this works. I'll execute a simple command. All right, so key tool dash list dash key store my store dot JKS dash store pass file and then pass. I'll uh, I'll discuss more about this in the later video. For now, I'll just uh, proceed with the migration. So as you can see in the my store dot JKS file, I have uh, one private key entry. Let's repeat the same command for the JCE KS key store. Okay, I'll clear the screen. So our JCE KS key store has two secret key entries. There's my encryption key and my encryption key two. I think one of them is a DES3 key and the other one is an AS key. All right, I'll clear the screen. Now I'm going to migrate uh, the contents of JKS key store to JCE KS key store. I already have the command prepared for it. And this is the command. So key tool dash import key store uh, dash SRC for source. So source key store, my store dot JKS, SRC store pass, file pass, test key store is my store dot JCE KS and then the destination store type is jcks and the destination store pass is a file and the password is stored in the file name pass i'll execute this command and it says importing key store jks to jcks entry for alias my signing key successfully imported and here's the stat let's have a look and uh, Let's check the content of uh, JCKS. So, okay, so we have the two secret keys and now we have the signing key or the private key entry, uh, which we had in our JKS key store. I'll clear the screen. All right, so let's now migrate our JCKS key store to a PKCS 12 key store. So here's our next command. Key tool, it's the same command. Key tool dash import key store. Source key store is my store dot jcks. Source uh, store type is jcks. Source store pass is a file. Destination key store is my store dot p12. Destination store type is pkcs12. And destination store pass is a file with uh, pass as the file name. Now, I did not create pkcs12 key store or mystore.p12. When I execute this command, a new key store will be created and the keys from jcks will be imported onto pkcs12. Let me execute this command now. All right, so alias my signing key successfully imported, alias my encryption key successfully imported. Now there's a problem. It says problem importing entry from alias my encryption key to, and it says key protection algorithm not found. So 
I'm getting this error most likely because PKCS 12 key store does not support test three keys. And that's why we're getting this entry. We are also getting a prompt. Uh, do you want to quit uh, the import process? I'll just say, I mean, the default input is no, so I can just press enter or yeah. And here's a stat. It says import command successful or completed. Two entries successfully imported, one entry failed or canceled. Let me do long listing. Here we have the P12 file. Let's have a look and see what we have in our P12 file. Here's the next command. Key tool dash list, key store, my store dot P12, dash store type, PKCS12, dash store pass, file pass. Enter. All right, so we have the signing key, which is the private key entry, and we also have the encryption key, which is NAS key. Uh, if you remember, the DES3 key that we had in JCKS failed, so we do not see that key over here. I'll clear the screen. Now I'll try to migrate my store.p12 into a bouncy castle key store. Um, I would like to remind you that Bouncy Castle is a third party provider, as I stated in uh, the first video that I posted on Key Tool. Uh, this provider is not available in Java out of the box. We have to download it from their website and configure it with our installed Java. Uh, there will be a future video dedicated to configuring Bouncy Castle and other types of third party providers. So for now, let's continue with our migration. So let's, I already have a command ready. Uh, this is our next command. It's the same command. I'll just uh, uh, read out the destination part. So destination key store, my store dot BKS. So this is going to be a bouncy castle key store. And like I mentioned in uh, my first video, the extension of the file does not really matter. I use it uh, because it makes it easier for me to recognize which key stores I'm using. Uh, destination store type is BKS, destination store pass file, and uh, uh, destination provider name is BC for Bouncy Castle. Let's execute this command. All right, so entry alias my signing key successfully imported, entry for alias my encryption key successfully imported, and we have two successful imported keys, and there's no failure whatsoever. Let's have a look and see what's inside this uh, Bouncy Castle key store. So uh, if you see over here, I have my Bouncy Castle key store. I'll clear the screen. Oops, sorry. Let me copy this command once again. All right. Okay, so so this is key store type BKS and the key store provider is BC Bouncy Castle. This is my signing key and this is the encryption key. All right. If you remember, um, when when we were trying to import uh, the desk key uh, or I, I should say when we were trying to import JCKS key store to P12 key store, we were not able to import the desk three key successfully. It failed during import. Let's try to import that key and see what happens. So here's our next command. It's the same command. We are just passing uh, JCKS key store as a source. And um, yeah, it's the same command. So enter. Okay, so it says that there's already a key uh, with alias my signing key. Uh, do you want to overwrite? Default option is no. I'll just hit enter, um, enter new alias. Okay, so it says if you don't want to overwrite it, do you want to Im still import it? If you want to import it, uh, enter a new key alias. I don't want to do it, so I'll just hit enter once again. All right, so again, this key already exists, so this is going to be a no, enter. And look at this, my encryption key to successfully imported. 
So this is the DES3 key which failed uh, while we were importing JCKS key store to our P12 key store. Let's have a look and see what's inside our uh, BKS key store. Actually, you know what? I'll clear the screen and I'll remove this verbose. Okay, so we have three entries now. Uh, there's a my signing key, uh, which is a private key entry. We have an encryption key, secret key, and this is the DES3 key, which failed. And now we have it in our bouncy castle key store. And now for our last demo of this video, I will try to migrate my bouncy castle key store to my cloud HSM. The cloud HSM that I'm using in this video is called Data Protection on Demand or DeepHot in short. Uh, it is a cloud-based HSM service provided by Thales. For more information, I'll leave a link in the description below for you to read. And no, this video is not sponsored by them. So let's continue with our migration. Here's our, I'll clear the screen and I'm going to bring our last command. It's, it's a very long command. All right, so key tool that import key store, source key store is mystore.bks, source store type is bks, source store pass is file, and uh, destination key store is luna.ks, destination store type is luna, provider class, this is the class for the provider. Now, I have downloaded the library to use Cloud HSM with Key Tool, but I did not configure that, those libraries with the Java that is installed on this virtual machine. So this is an alternative way to execute Key Tool with Cloud HSM if you don't want to configure it. So I'm going, I'm going to hit Enter. Right, so this is Cloud HSM. It's going to be a little bit slow. And it's asking for the destination password, which is something I just entered. It's doing something. Okay, so we have our first successful import, second one, and third successful import. So now we have three uh, keys imported onto our cloud HSM. Uh, there's a command in our cloud HSM called CMU list. If I hit enter, so CMU is a binary that comes with the, the deep hot client or the deep hot cloud HSM client. Uh, this binary can be used to get the list of uh, uh, the keys that we have in our cloud HSM. So it's asking for a password. I'm entering the password now. Okay, so here's our DES3 key. Here's our AS key. Here's the certificate associated with the private key. And this is the private key. So with this command, I have successfully imported uh, Bouncy Castle key store to our cloud HSM. Thanks for watching this video. Today we learned how to migrate keys from one key store type to another. We used two new Java security providers, although I didn't talk much about them. So in my next video, I'll show you how to configure and use third party providers that aren't packaged with Java out of the box. I hope you learned something new in this video. Leave a comment in the comment section if you have a question. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and I'll see you soon in my part 4 video. Have a good one.